When I was 14, I came up with an idea to create a robotic hand, pretty much piecing things I had around the house together. And this incredible moment happened at the 2013 uh, State Science Fair in Colorado. I met a small girl that had an $80,000 prosthesis, and I found out the cost, as well as that she would soon outgrow it. And I just could not believe this. I entered a robotic arm that I made for a couple hundred dollars, and it was more advanced than the prosthetic device that she had. And the more I started looking into the pediatric world, the more I realized that there's many different problems. Over half of the children who receive a device take it off after a couple of weeks and put it under their bed. Unlimited Tomorrow is unique in this industry as we have fundamentally changed the business model, the delivery mechanism, and the technology. For the first time, you can receive a personalized prosthetic device in the comfort of your own home. We built our product and our delivery mechanism and our support and our service around the remote care model. The number one challenge that we solved came down to cost. By bringing everything in-house to a central location where you have your clinical staff, your processing, you have your manufacturing, and you have your service and care, we can deliver a product for around $8,000. Our model relies on sending 3D scanners uh, to our users where a family member or friend would scan the residual limb. We collect that 3D data and geometry and then start creating sockets. A socket is how the device attaches to the person. It's really merging man and machine. It's not only an attachment mechanism to the human body, but it's lined with muscle sensors. So a child out of the box after 10 or 15 minutes of training, they can actually start moving their hand. Historically, when we've made sockets digitally, it was a very labor intensive process. It took many, many hours, if not days, to create a single socket. And it was a clear bottleneck to be able to scale our operation. I met an executive of Siemens at a conference I was at, and we started talking about software. It was always a missing link of the software that could take the scans in, pull in pre-designed CAD models, and really merge those two together. I mentioned I don't think this is possible, but I would love to explore what Siemens has to offer. And I was proved wrong and it's been a tremendous journey to where we are today. So there's this whole digital thread that runs through our scanning process and it goes all the way to the delivery of the device. We depend on that single source of truth. Our ability to generate a unique and formal personalized socket is the cornerstone of what we do here. The variations that we generate are all driven by Product Template Studio, are driven by parametrically controlled features in NX. Everything you see here is custom, which allows us to really optimize the comfort. NX modeling has given us the opportunity to process the scanned data we receive from our clients and turn that into a socket that is repeatable on a large scale for the overall design, but unique to the individual client. Using Product Template Studio, we were able to design a front-facing window for technicians that really brings the critical key aspects for custom socket to the forefront so that it takes less mastery of the software to generate and create a whole design. Going into the fitting sessions, and right off the bat, if I noticed that person had difficulty getting their arm into the socket, then right away I know I can go back into the PTS and adjust that one parameter. Now, a lot of people take for granted that we have both of our limbs. For someone who was born with this difference, being able to give them this tool to navigate the day-to-day, -day, it's a very uh, satisfying and, and wholesome feeling to know that. We use some of the best added manufacturing systems in the world made by HP, and they are able to print in full color, but also a very strong PA12 engineering grade plastic. Weight is a huge factor. If you think about even a three pound weight, moving that weight up and down all day long, it becomes very, very, very heavy. With that of manufacturing, we were able to produce weight down to about a pound and a half, which is the lowest in the industry. Out of the manufacturing also allows us to reduce overall waste. You basically start with a powder and end up with an end product right from the printer with nearly zero waste. We are rapidly scaling our production. I'm very excited to automate some of these processes. The auto nesting tool from Siemens will allow us to automatically lay out dozens of sockets in a build as opposed to the very manual process that we've gone through up to this point. There's 40 million amputees worldwide and only 5% of them have access to care. And that's just not acceptable. Siemens allows us to do more with less, really democratize our technology further, eliminate bottlenecks that we know we're gonna face in the future. Every year, we wanna add a zero onto the numbers that we're doing. We want to exponentially grow the number of true limbs that are in the world.